Hi, in this video, you will see how to extract the price from your finance by using Python programming. We are going to use Yahoo Finance website and the sample stock is Apple stock. We will check how we can get the price of Apple stock. For this tutorial, I will use Visual Studio Code Editor as an ID and uh, some other packages, but you can use uh, any code editor, it doesn't matter. So let's get started. At first open Visual Studio Code and then create a new file and give the file name as you like. For example, I am typing the file name is like a stock price tracker and the extension is .py py because this is a python 8 uh, script and Visual Studio by default it will change the icon. Now we have to start the coding. At first let's copy the URL from Yahoo Finance. And then in the editor assign it with a variable like URL. So this is a string variable URL and this is the common way we define variable in Python. Now we need to make a request to get the data. For request we need on library. We will use request package. So I am typing the expression import then space then request. Uh, if you don't install you need also to install this package. Once it is done then we can create a request and assign that as a response. So I'm assigning uh, response variable equal request dot get. Uh, get is the get method to request the URL. And finally, now we need to create a soup object. So for soup, we need to import the soup first. So I'm writing the expression uh, from BS4 import, then B2 soup. We also need to install this thing. If we don't install, just install it and now create the soup object. So we do soup and inside it we have to initialize the response dot text and then we have to uh, initialize whatever parser we want. Suppose we are using lxml parser and now let's check whether the soup is coming there or not by typing the command print and inside that soup and let's run the program. So we see that there are many texts are there in the terminal. That means the soup object is working properly. Okay, I'm going to close the terminal. Now we need to find out the price tag. I mean the price uh, price value. So I'm commenting the soup line because we don't need it anymore. And I'm creating another variable. It's called price. And then finally we will search inside the soup. So I'm writing soup, then find all. And then we have to find out the tag. I'm in the AO final browser, I select the price and then I will click on the inspect option to check how the price is coming. So here I see that there are uh, different ways actually I can uh, check what is the price coming. So here is the price. If we inspect uh, clearly we can see that the price is coming from this div. So any div is will any div will work, but I will use this div. So I'm selecting this thing and I'm double clicking and copy the class name because I will use that as a inspector of this uh, as a uh, tag uh, to find the price. And here it is coming from um, div, div. Okay, so I will use div and this class name to inspect the price. Okay, so let's go to the find all method and manually type this. So this is the div and this is the class. Okay, now type the tag div and then comma and the class name we have to mention here. So I will put the class name as this one of key value pair because here we see there are multiple classes are there. So inside the curly braces, uh, we can actually initialize that thing. Okay, so I have to type the class name here and then I have to cover with the uh, curly brace I'm doing that and then after that it is a JSON key value pair like thing so colon then uh, the value of the class so this value uh, is the same value which I copied and then after that uh, let's check whether the price is properly uh, tagged I mean we are able to find it or not and then run the program now we see yes it is coming fine so the enter div part is coming uh, from where we chose. Now let's close the terminal and then uh, check the price. So for price, basically this is uh, the price is under div and we have to find some other tag inside it. So I see the price is under span tag, span. So if we can 
find uh, this element uh, with this pen tag in the soup we can easily get the price okay so let's go to the code and type find inside it uh, type span and then run the program again and we see that uh, there are some errors so this is the error so basically this is the find all deleted error uh, if we did uh, the entire error we could easily figure out yes this is a find all deleted error because there are many gifs are there so we just need the first gif because the uh, tag is in, at the beginning so i put the index zero and then we run the program and we see that uh, here it is coming yes uh, the whole line of the price span tag is coming there and the price is inside it uh, but we need only the price part we don't need anything so what we can go do we can parse the text only from here so i'm going to close the terminal again and then i'm typing the command dot tex text and then i rerun the thing so let's run it again uh, and we see that the price is there yes uh, we are getting the exact price and this price is getting updated if we rerun it we'll see that the price uh, will be updated so let's rerun and we see that the price is updated based on the year finance website okay so now uh, we get the price now we can uh, modify this code a little bit uh, let's uh, get a function and inside the function it is defined let's uh, call the function name is like uh, price tracker and we are initializing by the keyword def which is actually the python function definition and then the function name and then the parenthesis then colon now we have to copy the all uh, copy all the lines of code inside it so that it will be defined as function so i just right click over there and i'm going to click on cut uh, to cut the code and i'll paste over there i mean under the function name and then i'm going to format uh, this part of the code and i'm removing all the white space because we don't need and then uh, this white space at the beginning we also don't need and finally we need to call the function name here the function name is price tracker so i'm typing price tracker and the parenthesis uh, and then uh, i have to run the program so i'm going to run the application and i see uh, it is running fine uh, let me clean uh, the thing and then rerun it again okay so i'm running the application again and i see uh, it is finally able to call uh, the method or function and it is able to get the price now let's uh, put the condition how long it will continue this is for on time right if you put while true then it will continue uh, the price update okay so i'm defining uh, while true and then inside it the method call and we see uh, that the, it is calling the price again and again and it is continuous okay we can make it a little bit format uh, like we can return uh, uh, the price from the main function and then we can also uh, put some string like print and inside it we can define that uh, this is the price tracker this value will show the price and before that we can add some string something like that uh, the price of apple something like that we can type the current price or apple price something like that whatever you wish let me write this thing current price of apple and then uh, we have to show the price price plus uh, price tracker okay now i see the program is running so if we expand the terminal we see that the price is updating continuously uh, based on uh, the year finance if the uh, change in the year finance uh, i mean if there is a change in the uh, year finance then we will see that uh, the code will give us the correct uh, updated value so if we check that it is uh, continuously running uh, because we put the condition uh, while true and the code is till now it is working and it is giving you or us it is giving us the current value so in this way we can easily use python to get the price from yahoo finance and it will keep updating so thank you guys for watching the video and if you think uh, the video is useful then you can share this with others and also comment and also if you like uh, to get latest update from my channel uh, you can subscribe uh, by using the subscribe button over the below or at the end of the video thank you again for watching the video thanks